Hi, this is Peter from Ultimate Marketing Strategies and today we're going to have a look at uh, Brad Callan's new software called Niche Finder. Uh, now Brad's obviously got a, quite a few other tools, probably the most well known is Keyword Elite. Um, so th there is some overlap between what Niche Finder does and Keyword Elite and a lot of the other similar tools do, but the uh, primary uh, design aim of Niche Finder is to have a very clean and simple tool to enable you to find uh, keywords. So, as you can see, here, this is the screen that comes up when you first start it. Um, very few options there, nothing to complicate things. You, you can save save uh, your results, export to comma separated or HTML file under preferences. Uh, you've just got some settings there for the um, number of threads and uh, if you're getting uh, blocked by Google you can uh, check this use search engine courtesy setting. Okay so let's let's uh, do a sample search. Uh, I won't do the dog training that seems to be the beloved favorite of every example. I'll use something like uh, let's say stop snoring. Um, generally I like to do exact match uh, searches and return related keywords. So we'll hit the start button and we'll see under the status here it gives you uh, some details as to what stage it's actually up to and over here on the progress it will give you a percentage of, um, of what's, what stage it's through the actual processing. Uh, that won't actually start um, going across there until it's retrieved the first set of data from Google. So at this stage what I'm going to do is just pause the video as in search has started now. So I'm just going to pause the video and let, let all of these columns populate and then I'll, I'll go through what each of them are. Okay so that, that took about three or four minutes to, to process all that information. So first thing we can see here is this uh, column here on the left here. Now there's one of three colors. It's either red for a difficulty rate or for a, uh, a very high difficulty rating to rank for. Uh, yellow is medium, and we've got one green in there, which is supposedly easy. Now, obviously, you have to take these figures with uh, some degree of caution and sort of do a bit of a sanity check. But it gives you it gives you a pretty good indication of um, how difficult a particular keyword is going to be to rank for. So here's our list of keywords there that we've had returned by the Google AdWords tool and any of these columns is sortable, you just uh, click on the, the column to sort it in whatever order you want. Um, this column here shows you the parent keyword so what you can do is uh, combine a whole bunch of searches so say for example if I wanted to do a search for sleeping problems if I added that in there and hit the start button it would then add that data in with all of this and that's quite helpful if you're researching quite a large area and you want to put a lot of keywords in there and then start doing filtering and finding out you know, what, what the best combination of keywords for, uh, for your site is. Uh, this difficulty rating here is a number between uh, 1 and 100. Um, now Brad is it's, well, he's, he's obviously not giving the exact um, uh, way that's calculated, but it's it's looking at a combination of page rank of competing sites, number of competing sites, and a few other bits and pieces. I have um, I, I, I use a few other tools like uh, Traffic Travis, for example. I, I I I like to cross check things, and more or less these these sort of um, ratings tend to sort of mirror pretty much what Traffic Travis will say. Uh, I mean occasionally there'll, there'll be some differences where they uh, one will say it's very easy and one will say it's hard but uh, in, yeah, I, I always have a look at the top 10 uh, results returned anyway just to see if there's um, yeah, there's something a bit fishy going on that you know, it wouldn't be uh, easy to rank for. Uh, column global monthly searches, fairly obvious and local monthly searches, same as what you get out of Google. Uh, total results, the total number of competing sites for whatever the particular keyword is. 
Um, up in this box here we've got some other data here so this is the total so this is for all the 50 keywords so there's 287,000 searches for those 50 keywords uh, 36 for the local and nine nine and a half thousand for daily searches and at the moment we've got a total of 50 keywords now where it starts to get more interesting is when you start adding other keywords or doing some filtering um, let, let's say for example um, stopping snoring was 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 the keyword that we were, had had some really good uh, search volume and uh, it was relatively easy to rank for we've then got the option here to generate the long tail for that so if I just hit that and now we'll see the parent keyword has uh, changed the stop snoring so that allows us to see where these particular long tail keywords have come from and it will go off again and it'll be calculating all of these additional columns there and so, so we had a lot of keywords in here and we were only interested in the ones uh, that said snoring in, in, and not ones that had uh, the word snore in. Uh, for example, well, most, most of them do have... Okay, here's one that just has snore rather than snoring. So what you can do is on each of these columns they've got that little filter button which you can uh, hit. So we'll say um, remove any phrases that contain the word, not, not sure, snore. Okay, so there we go, we've, we've now filtered that and it gives you a little star on there to indicate that the uh, filtering is in place. And say for example we were only interested in keywords where the difficulty was say 70 and below. So what we can do is we'll leave the min value at, at zero, we'll say Max, oh, actually, we'll make it 50 just so we can get a better example. Okay, so now we can see here our uh, total keywords is 38, so we've filtered out quite a few because they're the original 50 plus uh, there's all of these long tail keywords that are currently being generated. And you know, you can filter and search and sort as, as much as you like, add. You know, additional keywords so it makes it very very simple to you know, view the data and to extract um, extract the keywords that you're interested in I mean there's a certainly a lot of tools in this market um, yeah and, and niche finder has had a few problems initially because when it was first released it hadn't really been uh, tested by that many people um, but luckily Brad's been quite uh, good with getting his programming team to yeah, update the software and, and fix a lot of the bugs. Um, and it's quite possible by the time you have a look at uh, Niche Finder it'll look slightly different to this because it will have a few extra features but um, for example if you compare it to something like Market Samurai, Market Samurai is a great tool but you know, it really does have a lot of options and a lot of complications to it. You, you can't really just sit down, plug in a keyword out of the box and just go for it and understand it completely. And there's, a, there's quite a, a learning curve there and that's the same for a lot of other software. So if you'd like your software tools to be ultra simple where you can just start using them straight away then you know, Niche, Niche Finder is a great tool and I, I, I use Niche Finder in combination with a couple of other tools that's just the way I am but um, yeah it's definitely definitely one that I, I use virtually daily and uh, one I'll be continuing to use okay well hopefully you found that useful and um, if you do decide to get niche finder I'll uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy using it as well